Hello, welcome to Ducket. This time we are going to be discussing long lines. I have already made this one, but I'm going to be fixing it and I'll be walking through step by step how I did it in the first place. If you don't know what long lines are, they definitely make life a lot easier. They essentially are one string where you just strap, I normally do up to 12 different decoys on it, and then you just set it out and you instantly have 12 decoys out instead of throwing one by one by one. Now the way I have it, you can see here, I just have a swivel clip here, and then this is a trot line clip, 550 cord. Um, I either have black or this kind of camo color just to try to blend into the water itself. And then here are the pack of trot line clips. I'm pretty sure they were from Academy. I will try to link them below if I can find them still. And then the barrel swivels, just the cheap ones from Walmart, size number one. And then, depending on how deep the water will be, is how long you would make that. And then this is a kayak anchor I know from Academy. So they were, I mean, at the time, I think they used to be $10. They've gone up in price those cents. And I have one on each side. I just loop it through, tie it. And then the way I do it is, if you look, this one is on the front of the keel here. This one though is on the back. If I have 12 ducks all lined in a row, that doesn't quite look natural unless they're trying to actually go somewhere. If they're just kind of loafing around, I try to alternate, you know, make it random, but still one with the back, one facing forward, one facing backwards forward. And then I also try to do, you know, uh, male female pair male female pair and kind of break it up that way normally you get more drakes in the decoy packs though but still um, you know try to make it random try to mix it up now what had happened here the reason i'm having to repair it i've had these for i mean every bit of six or seven years maybe never had a problem until i took them out this past weekend the swivel broke we hunted salt water so i guess it was just a matter of time for the rust I'm gonna have to go through and inspect all the others as well, but essentially the swivel itself finally broke on each of them. Again, has never been a problem. The actual trot line clip is completely fine, but I don't know if they actually do make stainless swivels or not, but if they do, I might invest in those and kind of repair them. But this one, the actual, um, tiny little metal piece broke not the actual bracket part but so anyway so I'm going to be going through and showing you how you would do it in the first place but then fixing it as I go so, so you start with your trot line clip little swivel what you do to open up the trot line part it is kind of embedded here like the little bent piece and you just lift up on that flap to get it to come open. Now, you take the other end of the swivel here, you feed it through, and then you have to try to pull it through the gap in there. Normally it always will. Every once in a while it gives you a hard time, but there. So now it's completely stuck within there. It will not come out. And then you re-bend this piece back into there. The swivel part put on your duck. So in this case, let's just go ahead and let's just do it on the front to make it easy. So there's your swivel. Again, you need the number one size so it's big enough to get in here. Ta-da! There's that part. And then wherever you so choose. So like this one used to be right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and match it to that. I will push through that part and you put your 550 cord and then you just give it a good tug and it is in there. It doesn't slide, it's clamped on there, won't come off naturally, but then if you ever need to take it off you just squeeze, squeeze, 
and then you can readjust where you want it. So if you don't like the look when you get out there, I mean you can rearrange. So these two are facing forward, if we're calling that forward we'll say. Those two are facing forward, I definitely need a backwards one in there. So again, just doing this part at real time. So, trot line, open it up, swivel, pull through, put it back, put it on the back part of the keel on this duck. These are always harder to get to, but I'll still get it. There. And. There. That one's on the back. Again, forward, 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 forward. Here's one that used to be right here, so let's just go ahead and make this the backwards one. Oh. There. I normally try to make them close enough that they don't hit because then they're rattling around in the wind. So I'm gonna move this one down a little bit just to where it's far enough that they couldn't. And then take the old trot line clip, I'll repurpose it. Again, just pull there. That swivel is done for, but that's still good. Let's use this female here. And I'm gonna put her, I'll put her over there with all the guys and it was forward, 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 backwards, forward. So let's do backwards on her. So new swivel, again, open it up, feed it through, pull, close it, and then it's that easy. So once you get this thing set up, again, you can just drop the anchor on the one part and then just set them out one by one by one by one by one. And I mean, within one minute, you've got 12 decoys out there Picking them up is always a little bit harder, but it's still much quicker than one by one picking up 12 decoys. And just, again, one used to be right here. Let's make it to where it's close enough that they won't hit. Let's make her a little closer to him. Now, I also don't like putting more than 12 decoys on a string because it doesn't look as natural at that point. Um, I don't really know any time that there'd be, I mean, 20 or more different ducks in an exact straight line. So I like to do more than one long line a lot of times, but I'll angle it to where this one is this direction, the other one is that direction. And then you have some single ones that you fill in, so then it looks like a big group. Now, also the other thing is that to store them, I used to take them all off, you know, unclip them one by one, put them in a bag, and then I'd have a roll to where I would put up the 550 cord. I found these slot bags. These are actually, and this one's seen better days, but um, this is a goose slot decoy bag. They were cheaper than trying to find 12 of the duck ones, and two of them fit per cubby. So that's the other reason I do no more than 12. And there's plenty of room for the goose ones. So I'll show you that just here in a second. Let me put on this last one. Again, that swivel is done for, but we use this. And actually, I might have ran out of the swivels. Oh no, I already put that swivel on earlier. Okay, thought I had enough. So we'll use one of these here for the last one. So, I mean, you could do it this way if it's already clipped on. I just think it's easier when you don't have to mess with the size of the decoy. But again, all you do is that, that, pull, and pinch it back. Now I'm gonna put him, he's facing backwards. 
So we backwards, forward, backward, backward, forward, forward. So backward, backward, forward. Let's do, let's do, I'm gonna slide her down. I'll put him here since he's facing backwards. That pull so he's backwards, she's forward, but far enough that she won't hit that one. And we're gonna call that good. And I think the way it worked out on this one two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I only have 11, but the other ones I'd have 12. If you're out there hunting, you'd have your decoy bag, you would just grab the one decoy. And then the anchor line's over there. I normally just feed it up. And then when you're in the boat, when you're in the kayak, I normally start on a corner, make life easier. But then on that same slot, I always put face down and then the next one face up, just so they have more room for each other within here. So face down, face up, and then I work my way kind of like an S, snake my way there, so down and up. And it doesn't matter which way the decoys are rigged, just as far as storage in the bag. And then you can just sit there in the boat without the motor going or anything, and you can just, because it's got the heavy anchor on the back, you can pull yourself towards the rest of the line. So down, up, down, up. And then, again, by the time you otherwise would have had to go to each decoy by itself. I mean, I'm already almost done here with these 11. So down and up. And again, with it being a goose slot decoy bag, I mean, look, they're not even sticking out here. There's plenty of room. And then this one doesn't really matter since it's by itself. And then you feed in the rest of the line and again this is depending on how deep you hunt where i take these it's always more brackish kind of salt water by the coast it definitely could be deeper so there you go there's 11 decoys right there it's really not expensive to set up again the anchors are the most expensive part i think they're up to 12 or 15 dollars even each 550 cord i mean 50 yards should be plenty you can maybe even again depend on how shallow you are use like cut that in half and use it for two different long lines and then the slot decoy bag um i mean this is forever old i don't know what they are now in price but maybe 50 dollar price range i know that's about what i paid for each of them so i think it makes life a lot easier um, depending on how big of a spread you use um, i do not use them for wood ducks because Normally I notice wood ducks are in groups of five or less. So I'll just throw out individual ones and maybe like a pair and another pair. But for uh, bluebills, I mean, those are ringnecks, but I use them within the bluebill spread. You definitely can find big, big groups. So I'll use them for that. If you guys do it a different way, if you have a better way, definitely please comment below. If you've not already, please like, please subscribe. It really, really does help. Try to put out videos regularly for all of y'all so we can all learn and so we can save money and we can all get more ducks. So thanks. So for picking up the long lines here, I'll show you in real time and it's pretty windy so sorry about any background noise. I'm in the creek boat right now and with the wind going this way, I'm gonna start at the nose here. Time. Always drop them in here. Then nose down and up. Two in each slot. Down and up. Of course, the wind's got it turned around here. 
right here. goose bag. Two ducks can fit in each spot here. And then, along with the wind, I mean that's about as much of a fight as you'll get with these long lines, or at least that I've noticed. Except for apparently being hung at the anchor here. That'd be a problem. Eleven decoys in about a minute or two. So we have the anchor, and then if you have the slot bag, you just feed them right in. This one's only got about seven or eight because two of them ended up popping off actually, but so they normally could fit two ducks. One down, one up. And one down, one down, one up. Down and up. single yeah, so there's about eight decoys would have been two more <laughs> 